the GV80 Coupe's sleek look will garner more attention compared with the standard model, but it's not as sporty as its design suggests. Cast as a sportier alternative to the GV80 SUV, the Genesis GV80 Coupe rocks a fastback roofline and more aggressive design. Two engines are on offer, starting with a turbocharged 3.5-litre V6 with 375 ponies. But the top dog powertrain is a version of that V6 with both a turbo and an electric supercharger that makes 409 horsepower. The interior, while similar to the regular GV80's cabin, ditches the three-row seating layout for a two-row setup. A large 27.0-inch digital display stretches the majority of the GV80 Coupe's dashboard, providing access to infotainment as well as vehicle info, such as speed and navigation. The cabin features racier design elements than what is found in the regular GV80 SUV, including a flat-bottomed steering wheel and metal-accented throttle and brake pedals, which are intended to lend a sporty ambiance. The GV80 Coupe's driving experience, though, is nearly identical to the non-Coupe models, meaning it's more luxurious than athletic. That's perfectly fine for those desiring a more style-forward alternative, but it keeps the GV80 Coupe from being competitive dynamically with more powerful rivals, such as the BMW X6 or Porsche Cayenne Coupe. The price of the 2025 Genesis GVIV 80 Coupe starts at $81,300 and goes up to $87,100 depending on the trim and options. The standard GV80 Coupe comes fully loaded with plenty of standard features, from a panoramic sunroof to powered, heated and ventilated rear seats. While the e-supercharged variant gets extra oomph with its 409 horsepower, it doesn't add much in the way of interior features or material changes. The base model's 375 ponies from its turbocharged V6 is still plenty of punch, so we would save the nearly $6,000 and stick with the base model. The GV80 Coupe will be offered with two engine options, both of them gasoline-powered. A twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 makes 375 horsepower in base form, but a 409 horsepower variant is available and uses an electric supercharger to boost its output. Both pair with an eight-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. Genesis is casting the GV80 Coupe as the sportier alternative, the three-row GV80 SUV. During our initial test drive, we didn't find the Coupe to be any sharper than the square-back GV80 besides the extra oomph of the available 409 horsepower powertrain that's not available in the standard model. The coupe model also gets an exclusive sport plus driving mode, which is said to tighten up the driving experience. But even in that mode, the overall vibe remains decidedly plush. In our testing, the GV80 coupe with the electric supercharger got to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds. We expect the standard 375 horsepower model to be a bit slower, but we haven't yet had a chance to test it. The EPA rates the GV80 Coupe at 16 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway, and 19 miles per gallon combined for the standard 3.5T model. The version with the electric supercharger is rated higher at 18 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway, and 20 miles per gallon combined. When we get a chance, we'll take the GV80 Coupe on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test route and update this story with its results. It doesn't take a detailed spec sheet to tell you that the GV80 Coupe's interior isn't as spacious as the regular GV80s, but amenities are similarly generous. There's no third row seat in this fastback SUV, meaning the coupe has two row seating for five. The same basic features and designs are found inside as the GV80, including plush seats wrapped in quilted leather upholstery. Genesis has incorporated luxurious features either as standard or optional extras, 
including heated armrests, an in-car fragrance diffuser, and a device that uses UV light to disinfect your smartphone. Cargo space behind the second row of seats is generous by two-row SUV standards. But if hauling bulky items is part of your regular day-to-day, -day, the three-row GV80 may serve you better. All GV80 coupes come with a huge 27.0-inch digital display that starts behind the steering wheel with a gauge display and flows to the right into a touchscreen infotainment screen. The can also be manipulated via a click wheel controller on the center console. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, in-dash navigation, Sirius XM satellite radio, and a wireless smartphone charging pad are all standard features. A 14.6-inch rear seat entertainment screen is available, as is a Bang & Olufsen stereo system. A full suite of driver assistance features is standard, including a semi-autonomous driving mode, which learns how the owner drives and mimics that person's driving style while in use. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and also comment down below. See you in the next video.